started on Tuesday on the Honoapi Ilani Highway between Kiave Street and Kapuna Kea Street. Have mm-hmm. constituents notified you about any noticeable increase in traffic since then? Yes, they have, and we've also got notifications just um, from constituents about the fact that the signs went up announcing the imminent road work. You know, right away, which looks like, which appears to them that this is a done deal. It's going to happen. It's going to happen fast. And the voice of the community is not being taken into account right now. Okay. On that note, you have mentioned that community input and updated environmental assessments are needed for this latest project. Do you still feel that way? And are you still asking the governor to halt work at this time? Well, it's it's not a halt. It's just to slow it down. Slow it down so you can take the various ideas that have been proposed, including their idea, and bring it in front of the community and let the community see all the options on the wall. Let them weigh in on the option that could be chosen to address traffic areas and the impacts and the effects of the proposals. And the original EIS, and I maintain, that was done in 2002, didn't include this area and the the, the work that's being proposed also was a much different area back then. And there's also other people who, a lot of people have moved into West Maui since 2002 and they feel that their voice no longer matters. And so all I'm asking for is a slowdown to come out to Lahaina, put all the options on the table for the community, like a design charrette, they call it, and to work with the community on choosing the different variations that may be available to address the traffic situations in that area. And it's not about the politicians in Honolulu. It's not about certain key figures being involved in the conversation. It's about the community being involved in the conversation. And so that's been my whole thing is take the discussions that are happening and the ideas that are happening over here in Wailuku and bring them to Lahaina so that the community can actually weigh in. And I think everybody will be refreshingly surprised at what productive things can come out of just engaging the community and brainstorming and working it out at the community level. The DOT had mentioned that there was a resolution brought forth by Council Member Guzman. Are you privy to that information? And if so, how do you feel about it? Um, Yeah, Councilman Guzman notified me about it, not only because of the concerns of constituents, because this is an island-wide issue. A lot of people commute over to West Maui every day. So because of his constituents raising concerns and also because of Kiavi Street's a county road, and there's a lot of other county roads that will be affected by these changes that they need to be involved so that their spending and projects for these county roads will actually dovetail with what the DOT is doing. So, you know, I appreciate what he's doing. It's raising this issue to the level, the support of the council and everybody is important in just getting a community-driven process going for the road work in that area. And the road work all through West Maui. And I think it's important, the DOT keeps saying that I'm somehow opposed to the bypass and want to stop completely. That's not 100% true. You know, my whole thing is we need the bypass, we need better roads, we need to manage retreat, but the community has to be involved in the conversation and it has to be meaningful conversation that will result in plans and designs that are truly been driven at the community level. You've partially touched upon this, but there's been a lot of finger pointing and name calling. How do you feel about the transportation department assessment of your concerns? Well, at first I was disappointed, you know, at their assessment of my concerns that they would not, you know, they would basically diminish them because the concerns I'm bringing up were not, didn't come from me. They came from friends and neighbors and business people and everybody in the community. I just gave voice to those concerns. So, you know, what I'm hoping is that we can move forward on a professional basis and that we can work with the community. The community will be truly involved and that we can have a community-driven solution. So, you know, I mean, I know that Ford has been talking to, you know, Albert Perez and Maui Tomorrow and Albert and Maui Tomorrow have been a great asset in helping to work through these issues. But I even told him in my meeting with him yesterday, you need to take all of this. this is great. This has to go in front of the community. The community has to see it, weigh in, and whatever consensus is reached has to be driven at the community level. And that's kind of been my whole thing all along. The letter, a very polite letter to the governor, was slow it down so the community can weigh in because there's a lot of concern that these plans, which don't seem to be taken into account back in 2002, may have unintended consequences. And if they don't, well, then the community can see that they don't, but the community knows that they were involved, their concerns were listened to, and the solution now on the table is something that came from them and our neighbors and friends in Maui. For those of in the public who have become slightly complacent and say that this 
traffic is the new norm, what would you say to them? I said, I said traffic is not the, it shouldn't be the new norm. I mean, congestion and traffic is an issue everywhere. But we have to take care of Maui and West Maui. We have to invest in our infrastructure. And this is why I support the Department of Transportation on creating new revenue streams for highway projects in Maui. Not only for Honopi'ilani, but also for the Paia Bypass, which is, you know, on hold right now. I mean, so we support the department in creating new revenue streams. I have several bills that I'm introducing along with Senator Baker for these revenue streams. And we, as long as we can go ahead and commit extra resources to these projects, we can do a lot because we don't, we don't, we not only have to take care of these issues, but we also have to look at the managed retreat of the existing highway in areas like Oluwalu Mukamehami, where erosion and coastal inundation is at a critical level. Okay, great. Any final comments or anything that you'd like to add that maybe I didn't mention? Again, my only plea was don't was not to kill the project, but slow it down. And again, whatever meetings are taking place in Wailuku and Honolulu, that the results of those meetings come in front of the Lahaina community and that all options are on the table so the community is a part of whatever the decision is made going forward. If the community is involved in the decisions made going forward and people feel like their voice is being heard, then I'm happy. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Cool. Thank you so much, Wendy. Okay. Okay. Aloha. Aloha.